Okay, we all know how important, or maybe a better term and phrase is, how popular your smartphone camera is to your daily use, especially those important moments where you wanna capture moments of maybe your family, or in just situations where maybe you're out, you're on holiday. And we've seen how far smartphone technology has really progressed. And yeah, this pretty much brings up a discussion because a few months back, about two months ago, back in September, Samsung announced two new sensors. And it's all based on their ISSL technology. And the main one we're gonna be talking about that really caught our attention is their 200 megapixel HP1 ISSL sensor. And that really just got us thinking, to what extent is megapixels that important that we need to go all the way up to 200 megapixels? Yeah, let's break it down. In this tech talk video, we'll see the importance of megapixels in a smartphone camera, or should it really be focused on the experience and especially software? Hi, Ben from Sam Mobile. If you enjoy videos like this, then be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos on our YouTube channel with Sam Mobile. And again, we like having these tech talk videos in a more discussion style just to give you, our audience, a chance to chime in, open a dialogue, and fire up your comments in the comment section below and let us know what you think about the topic, whether you're different or indifferent to it. And this time, it's in regards to megapixels on a smartphone camera and how important are they and to what extent do they just start losing interest? And this point is really based on the announcement of the 200 megapixel ISSO HP1 sensor from Samsung a few months back. We'll do a quick rundown of pretty much what to expect from this sensor. It's pretty much a one over 1.22 inch sensor size. So it's huge. And it does have a native 0.64 micropixel size. And what it does is it enables a couple of things. You can do the two by two pixel binning, which pretty much goes down to 50 megapixels and gives you a slightly bigger micro pixel size effectively. I think 1.28, or you can do four by four pixel binning that goes down to 12.5 megapixels and then gives you an effective pixel size of 2.64. What the sensor apparently does enable is things like 8K 30 frames a second up from 24 frames that we're used to and 4K 120 hertz when it comes to super slow motion. Now, what there isn't any clarification on is the autofocusing technology. That already is the first point of contention. Now, when it comes to these larger sensors, the first one we really experienced was that 108 megapixel sensor on the Galaxy S20 Ultra. And Lord, do we not need to go there when it comes to the autofocusing technology. That's one of the biggest worries when you go to these bigger sensor sizes, but then adding so much megapixels to it, the autofocus goes away. Let's take you back to the Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge days, dual pixel autofocus. You realize that was such a revolution that Samsung introduced that back in the day. And we've seen that develop. And then we saw that dropped and again, that was the issue with the autofocusing that we found in the S20 Ultra. There lies the first issue right there. Now, Samsung did learn their lesson when they got to the Note 20 Ultra. At this rate, RIP the Note. And using laser-assisted autofocus really made a difference, but it just never felt as fast as what you found with dual pixel autofocus that, for some reason, still actually managed to find a way, guess what? on the normal plus and normal S20 models or S21 or S21 plus. That already then just begs the question that why so many megapixels? Why not just go and create the lesser megapixels between 12 to 16 to then enable these features that will give you much bigger pixels effectively straight out without pixel binning and getting the phone to stress out so much and also much better autofocus. But I've got some few pointers to really get to why they're going this route. Whew. Okay, firstly is marketing. More is better, right? That large number is just so easy to market to pretty much use like top trumps. That's one way. More megapixels means uh, an effective sharper image, a cleaner image when you're pixel binning or being able to just shoot it raw 
in 200 megapixels in a right lighting situation. Next is definitely down to the performance of it with the larger sensor. But I just don't know. I don't think this is the way to go up to a certain point. Yes, the larger megapixels or the more megapixels definitely come into play for enabling 8K. Now we can discuss how debatable 8K is, just like we could discuss how debatable 4K is or was when it was first introduced onto the Note 3. Now look at where we are right now. So yes, maybe the high resolution does help with megapixels, but then you only need no more than 50 megapixels to get 8K video recording, or to be specific, 33.3 to be total. So those two reasons alone, really just don't sell it. And I think there just has to be a balance where once we hit up to 50 megapixels, I don't think it's any more. It's really about having the best in UI experience and also the best optimization for a good camera experience. 200 megapixels in a sensor size that large would have been better if it was actually smaller. But again, begs the question to actually see how it goes. But personally, megapixels does matter to a certain extent. To enable things like 8K, you need higher megapixels and to develop it from there. But past that, yeah, might just seem a bit too excessive and might cause a bit more problems like what we ran into with the S20 Ultra. And we might see that again unless they really counteract it. Hey, these are our thoughts on it. Very interesting. And we love seeing technology pushed to its limit but yeah, this might not be the way to go past this point or might be proven wrong. And it all depends because Samsung might actually be introducing this as soon as 2023, not next year. Let us know in the comment section below what your thoughts are on this when it comes to megapixels mattering. And are you excited to see this new 200 megapixel sensor in a Galaxy flagship phone in the future? Mm -hmm.